governments from around the world are in Bali debating how to reduce carbon emissions. But in China, one of the worst polluters, up to 3% of global carbon emissions come from its coal fires, raging in seams across the north. Our China correspondent Lindsay Hilson went to the Wuda coal field in Inner Mongolia and to Arunki in Xinjiang province to investigate. Winter brings snow to Xinjiang in China's far west. But beneath the surface, the heat reaches a thousand degrees. This is China's coal fire belt, where underground infernos send sulfur, soot and greenhouse gases into the atmosphere. Bulldozers rake over the coals, trying to put out the blaze. Every year, China's coal fires are said to produce as much carbon dioxide as all the cars and trucks in America. Some fires started spontaneously hundreds of years ago, but others are sparked by unsafe mining practice as China satisfies its endless hunger for coal. Greenhouse gas emissions isn't just a problem for China, it affects the whole world. The Chinese government is under pressure to reduce emissions, so we firefighters are also under pressure to speed up our work to reduce emissions and environmental damage. They pump water to lower the temperature. Later, they'll force mud and slurry through the cracks in the earth to block the oxygen which keeps the coal burning. It takes months or years to put out a fire, but it may nonetheless be a more efficient way for China to cut emissions than by introducing energy-saving measures. What these men do is really tough. The air is full of dirt and smoke, and fumes from sulfur and other toxic gases. Working near the fire is boiling hot. But the work is really important, because with China's coal fires contributing up to 3% of global carbon emissions, extinguishing them could make a real difference. Geologists monitor an area where a fire has been doused. They collect gas for testing. The fires produce methane and carbon monoxide. They check the temperature, still over 80 degrees. Not until it's under 70 degrees can they say a fire is well and truly extinguished.